Hi there, I'm Mike Ernst, and this is the first chapter of the Intermediate InDesign for Planners course, part of Planners and Courses. Adobe InDesign is a great piece of software that has a wide variety of applications for urban planning. So who might consider taking this course? Uh, well, if you've already completed the Introduction to InDesign course, or if you have a basic understanding of how the software works, but want to learn a bit more about some of the more complex functions, uh, well, this course is aimed uh, at you. What are we going to cover? Well, we're going to cover a wide variety of topics, but primarily we're going to be talking about how to produce a poster like this. Now, uh, this poster is produced uh, uh, in InDesign, but it also utilizes some, some maps that are created using GIS and uh, Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in learning more about uh, how to create graphical maps uh, using GIS and Illustrator, Planners and Courses offers a course that covers this topic. Uh, in this course, we're going to talk primarily about how to lay out something like this, uh, a poster like this, in InDesign. We'll cover things like, what are the elements that you should consider when laying out a poster? Uh, things like uh, the color, texture, shape, direction, and size of the elements you link. We'll talk about visual hierarchy. Uh, the repetition of different elements, and the use of color in your posters. We'll talk about how to work with text like by using the type tool. We'll talk about how to transform tools using the free transform tool, the rotate tool, the scale tool, and the shear tool. We'll also cover the use of pathfinder. So we'll, we'll, we'll use how to uh, draw paths and objects and combine them together uh, to create more complex shapes using the pathfinder tool. We'll talk about the use of effects like uh, drop shadows or outer glows. We'll talk about the use of gradients using the gradient tool. And finally, we'll talk about uh, final document production. So how to tie this all together uh, to create an interesting, compelling looking document, and then to have to package that document as a packaged InDesign folder that contains all your links, uh, all your fonts, and of course your source INDD files. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, I highly encourage you to uh, take this course and learn more about all the things you can do in InDesign. So thanks for watching.